name is Ali and today we're going to be reviewing The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, the first book in Trials of Apollo series. If you watched my video on the Percy Jackson Greek Gods, I told you guys that I was going to start the Trials of Apollo series. And I don't have the book, I didn't buy the book, I, re I listened to it on audiobook, so it's a long book, but it's like 40 chapters, but the book is really, really good. There's a lot of questions, there's a lot of confusion if you don't know most of the mythologies. It would really help if you read Percy Jackson first. Let's get started because I've been really, really excited to review this. By the way, the author is Rick Gordon, of course. Let's get started now. It starts off where Apollo gets turned into a human because he angered his father Zeus in some way and he's like okay you're gonna get your punishment and you're gonna be down at earth until you prove your worth to be a god again and then he's like okay and then he goes down and then he's like why oh why did I have to go down here and then he finds his friend called Meg McCaffrey she leads him on every single step they go to Camp Half-Blood and when they're crossing the woods, Apollo goes mad, like crazy. And then when they get inside, they he clears up already. And then he's like, what, what would happen? And then like the next day, there was a race. And then they had to go inside the labyrinth. They had a race inside the labyrinth. And then they hear this, inf this piece of information that a beast, a person, is trying to take over the four oracles and then the fifth oracle and um, cut it down, like burn it. And he's like, no, no oracles can be burned. Apollo is the god of prophecies, so he needs to keep all the oracles safe. So he's like, I've got to do something about this. Then when he gets out, his children are missing. He's like, okay, I'm going to go into the woods and look for them. He also learns that the fifth grove, the fifth oracle's name was Dodona. It was a grove full of trees that whisper prophecies. So he goes in there, but then he learns that Meg had betrayed him and brought him there just to open the gates and they could burn it down. A Roman emperor's, I'm burning it down by the way, and Meg runs after they open the gate. Meg runs away. And Apollo finds his children inside there, going crazy because of the whispers. It, it's a little bit out of control because all the trees are speaking at once, so they go kind of crazy. Then he just realized he fell into a trap. Ca um, the Camp Half-Blood is getting squished to pieces, and here they're burning this down. What has he has to do? He gathered up all the people, he saved both places, and... There, the camp half blood is trying to control Dodona and give them prophecies to go on quests to retrieve the other oracles. Apollo says that he's going to go save the other four oracles before they get controlled and taken over. You might say, why are the oracles so important? Without the oracles, there would be no prophecies, then there would be no quests that's on one side. Then, the other, you get no form of communication, even in the human world. And it the world just goes crazy. Because without communication, yeah. So, this is what happened. I am really, really excited for the next three books. They're about the other oracles and how he saves them. And... Apollo also wants to figure out where Meg is. Meg had taken him along every single step, and now he was angry at her for just betraying her at the last moment. And it was a little bit of confusion at the end where the oracles and then the Roman emperors and the, Ma and the Meg betraying him. There's a lot to think about here. This book was really, really fantastic. I loved this. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Bye!